Hey everyone, this is a lab to determine the relationship between magnetic field strength and the distance from a magnet. So a few things we're gonna use in this lab. One is the Vernier Go Direct uh, Magnetic Field Sensor. Um, I've got a magnet. Um, in this case, it's a thing from a Vernier cart, but it's got a neodymium magnet in it. You can kind of see that there. And then the last thing we need is something to measure distances with. So I've got measuring tape um, taped to the desk here, um, and it's marked in millimeters so I can measure the distance the magnet is from the sensor. I'll also need Vernier graphical analysis pulled up. So if you're using a Chromebook, make sure you got that downloaded from the Chrome App Store. All right, let's jump in and get this set up. All right, so I have Vernier graphical analysis pulled up on my computer screen. I'm gonna go to sensor data collection, and then I'm gonna need to connect to the sensor. If you just got this out, that won't be blinking. You're gonna click that button right there once, just right there, and then this should start blinking red. That's gonna indicate that the sensor is turned on and it's ready to connect. You also need to check the back, especially if other students are um, using other sensors to make sure you're connecting to the right thing. So there's an order code right there. It says GDX3MG on this particular sensor. Your sensor will have a different code. Whenever you pull this up on the computer, you wanna make sure you click the sensor that matches the code on your sensor. So I'm gonna click that to connect. After I connect, I'm gonna click on the sensor channels I'm gonna do X magnetic field. If you were doing something that has really strong magnets, you might wanna use the X magnetic field um, 130 MT, but that's for stronger magnets. For this particular lab, I'm just gonna use the regular magnetic field sensor that's built in right here. I'm gonna click done, and it takes me to this screen. I'm gonna click up here in the top right to show my data table and to show the meter here so I can see the readings more clearly on the screen. Now, the sensor, in the magnetic field sensor is actually sort of at the tip, but not the very tip. It's gonna be marked by these dots right here. So there's gonna be a dot right there by the Z, the Z for Z axis. There's a dot here and a Y, Y for Y axis. And then there's gonna be a dot sort of on the tip that you can see right there. Now the X axis of this is gonna be along this way right here. So I'm gonna line this up where the dot there is at zero. I'm gonna line it up with my measuring tape. I'm gonna be really precise with where it is. I'm gonna place my magnet at different points along this to measure the distance from the magnet to the sensor right here. Before I do that though, I need to do a couple things. I'm gonna remove my magnet and then I'm gonna zero the sensor. So I'm gonna click there and click zero. So that's recording a sensor reading of zero right now. I'm also gonna change the mode in the bottom left corner from time-based because I don't wanna know the magnetic field strength over time. I wanna be able to record discrete readings um, rather than readings over time. So I'm gonna click event based. The event refers to what you input like manually. So I'm gonna be manually recording the distance um, while the sensor is recording the magnetic field strength. The sensor only records magnetic field strength, not the distance. So the event name here, I'm gonna enter in um, distance and I'm gonna enter that distance in centimeters as the units I'm gonna use. I could use millimeters if I want to. And then I get this, all right? So my magnetic field is zero there. I'm gonna add the meter, for some reason it took that away. And then I'm gonna hit collect. Now it's not recording any data points yet, but I'm gonna hit collect and I should have options stop and keep up there. I'm gonna place the magnet somewhere along the sensor. Let's say that I place it at, right there at the 40. So that's gonna be four centimeters. And then on the screen, I'm gonna click keep. When I click keep, this pops up. There's my magnetic field reading. Now, if you notice it says negative 1.6, I actually don't want that. I'm gonna flip the magnet around and just use positive readings, which will just make it a little bit easier for me. Okay, I'm gonna click keep again. All right, and I'm at a distance of four centimeters. I'm gonna click keep point, and it's gonna plot my data point there on the graph. Now I'm gonna keep plotting more data points. I'm gonna move this to somewhere else, like six right there. I'm gonna click keep, and then I'm gonna mark the distance there as six. I'm gonna click keep point, and now I've got another data point on my graph. One thing to help see this a little bit better, if you notice on the bottom left, it doesn't, it's not the origin of zero, zero. I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna click edit graph options and my scaling I'm gonna change to always show zero. I'm gonna do that for both axes. And I wish that was the default, but it's not. And that's gonna make my points a little bit easier to view. I've got one right there and my one right there. I can't tell what time of graph this is. That could be linear, it could be inverse. I don't really know, um, but as I click more points, it's gonna to start to become clear what it is. Once I have a lot of points on there, I'll click stop. I'm gonna need a lot more than two. I'm gonna click stop there. And then I'm gonna click right here on graph tools. I'm gonna to apply a curve fit. It could be a linear fit that matches the data. But there's also all of these other types of fit 
one of these is gonna fit the data the best, and that's gonna tell you the type of relationship that there is between distance and magnetic field. Once you find what the fit is, I'll click apply. It's not linear, I just didn't collect enough data points to figure out what it is, but you will when you do this lab. The other thing I wanna point out is the magnetic field sensor only goes up to five MT. So if I move this really close, you'll notice it gets to five, and then if I move it closer, it's still at five. That's because the five on there means that it, it's too powerful of a magnetic field for this sensor, the way I've got it set up, to be able to read it. So if it says five on there, don't include that as a data point because five just means it's too powerful for this sensor as I got it set up to read right now. So I wouldn't want to do anything closer than maybe something back here where it's not getting five anymore. Like that would work, but if I get five on it, I wouldn't include those data points in my graph. All right. So again, the point of this lab is to figure out what is the relationship between the magnetic field strength and the distance that the magnet is from it. And to do that, you're gonna apply a curve fit and find the curve fit that matches your data points the best. All right, good luck and we'll see you in the lab.